Hello everybody, this is String Gamer Year 4, a mod showcase. Dun 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 dun. And this is not like any other mod showcase. This one is unique in the fact of what it is. That didn't make any sense, but yes, we got... Well, we have two new beauties to go through today. One of which is going to be the star of this episode, because it's a little, it's a little carnival. It's a little pack hunter. We have... Dun 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 dun! The Deinonychus! So let's not waste any time at all, and let's release this puppy! Yeah, there they are! We got six beautiful Deinonychus. And we have the Alpha Deinonychus because we can't have different cosmetics for the Deinonychus yet. Otherwise I would have had the other normal Deinonychus. But unfor but you know, we'll take we'll take what we can, can't we? Because we have this lovely Alpha Deinonychus. And I tell you one thing. What was the most difficult part of this model of this mod was definitely the head crest and getting it right. Because with the Deinonychus, this is obviously like feathers and quills, so I did that. You know, I made, gave gave it like a quilly, feathery look at first, and it just didn't look right. It was a little bit too spacious for my taste. When you look at it in the anime in the arcade game, the hairs are like really, really thick and bunched together. So I thought doing it like this, just have like a solid model instead of quills and that, I think suited it be suits it better. So that is why I have it like that. And well, the texture wasn't really too much hassle this time because I'd already made Dinonicus in Evolution 1, so I just put it into Evolution 2. Right then, I'm sure you all want to see it pack hunt, don't you? So, let's give it a little warming up first and release... Let's release some paras! Skippity skip. Call out Paras, the Deinonychus needs something to kill. Ooh, look at that. Deinonychus in the night. And oh yes, yes, I forgot I forgot to remind I forgot to mention that yes, we had the Camp Cretaceous update not too long ago, so I think the most exciting thing f f for me in that update is the Paras Parasaurolophus, the luminescent ones. The ones that glow in the dark. Because you, we can apply that. I can apply that to certain dinosaurs, like Black T. Rex and Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. So subscribe, com, sub, 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 subscribe, leave a like if you would like to see Alpha Acrocanthosaurus, the glowy version, because that is going to look awesome. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here it comes. It started. Which one is it? It's going to be this one, isn't it? Oh, there's only one Deinonychus going after it. Look at him in the water, he's like a shark! Oh, look at him on the top of the power! Oh, look at them working together to task, take down the power! God, get him, you need friends! You need more than two of you! Oh, 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 never mind, he's dead. Wait, what? Oh, they, I think they both just got yeeted. Oh, yo, your power stood no chance against the Deinonychus' teamwork. Let's chuck a Pentaceratops in the ring. Alright, so they managed to take down the para relatively easy. Let's see if they can take on a Pentaceratops. Ah, here we go. Oh, look at this. How many? One, two, four of the buggers on the Pentaceratops. Oh, no, they're not. There's five of them on him. Oh, yeah, this Pentaceratops is... Done. Stands no chance against five Deinonychus. Oh, oh, well, that was quick. Wow, they dispatched him with ease. Okay, this this is this is what the one dinosaur I looked forward to making the most was Deinonychus because of the pack hunting mechanic. It's awesome. Well, they shredded that thing. All right, let's see how they handle this. Yes. It is Carnotaurus. Not Ace, Carnotaurus. The regular one. This is quick. 
Oh, they're going for it. He's going for it. The app. Oh, this one's the actual alpha. Take it on the Carnotaurus. Oh, look at this. All of them are going for it. Yeah, this card is done. It's not surviving this. Oh, it did damage. Oh, look at that one. Blown away by the Sonic Blast. Ooh, ooh. Is Dynonicus countering with Dynamic Galaxy there? Oh, the Carno's on his back! It's like a turtle! Oh, he's injured now. Oh, he's got concussion. Oh, but it, but it held its own. Oh, nope, nope, maybe not. They're going for this one now. <laughs> oh, look at that. One, two, three, five of them on him. Can they finish him off though? Ooh, oh, this one's taking a beat then. Ooh, Carnotaurus holding his own. Whee! Like, you would think that would do damn. Oh, oh, it's dead. Oh my god, it killed all of them. Unstoppable. What? <laughs> um, um. Oh, he's lonely. He's the only one left. The <laughs> Carnotaurus is eyeing him up. They've really killed all of them. How did that happen? Well, um, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> it killed all of them. Oh, here they come. All of them taking on the Carnot. Wow, look at the Carnotaurus. He's bolted. Can he, can he take them all on again? I think this is the one that fought off the uh, five Deinonychus as well. No, no, he's going to die. Oh, look at that one. The eye is clawing the eyeball there. This Deinonychus is not messing about. Look at them all go. Yeah, that, they think that's Carnotaurus done. 17% health, but it survives. I <laughs> think it just sits down. <laughs> He's like, yes, you're my prodigy now. You right? Look, he just sits down after that. He's like, that's right. You're not allowed to attack me because I'm bleeding. What I don't get with the pack hunting is when they get flung off, they take zero damage. Like, come on. They should... They should take some damage. Ah, here it comes. Yeah. Oh my god, look at them all. Down it goes. Not even a fight. It, 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 the Carnotaurus is done. He's not surviving this. Beaten and battered, the Deinonychus pack getting its revenge for his fallen brothers. And sisters. And sisters. And they got this Deinonychus in the background just doing nothing. Yep, down it goes. The Deinonychus pack does it again. <laughs> Look at that dude with the claw in the way. You killed it, you little bugger. You've already killed it. It's dead. Alright then. Time for the boss level. Let's see what happens when they take on a T-Rex. Not just one. But two. Oh, here we go. They're going to take him on. How many is it this? Oh, oh, they're taking on this one. Got two of the buggers. Oh, oh, that's not good. The Tyr Tyrannosaurus holding its own. Oh, oh, well, that one's definitely dead. <laughs> Yo, oh, he killed that one. Look how five for that one. Oh, he killed them both. Wow, you don't mess with the T-Rex. I think it might be too powerful for these Deinonychus to tangle with. Look at that. He needed the pair of them. The, 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 the. No. You're not supposed to fight each other. You're supposed to kill the Deinonychus. Now, the Deinonychus pack has been weakened. So there's only one, two, three, four. There's only five of them left. And let's not forget, Carnotaurus killed five of them before. Oh, well, this one's freaking dead, isn't it? It's got internal bleeding, and you, are you gonna die? Oh, you're dying as well, lovely. They're both dying. <laughs> Ugh. You know what? Sod it, I'm leaving it, I'm leaving it. See if they can fight off the Deinonychus anyway. Wow, not messing about. The Deinonychus smell blood, and they go in for it. Yum. <laughs> Oh, look at the three of them, just like the anime. Oh, the T-Rex tries a tail swipe. 
the damage though, has done damage to them. Can he win? Oh, that one got you dead. That one's dead. Oh, wow, he's killed all of them. Oh, oh, well, that one's definitely dead. Wow. Even with internal bleeding, this T Rex killed three of them. And I think it was, this is the one that was hunted before. Oh, maybe not. That one has one fight win, and that one has... Oh, that one lost the fight. Oh, here we go. The other two are coming in. They're taking on this one. Can they do it? Based on the um, success rate for the Deinonychus against the T-Rex, I'd probably say no. Like, I don't get it. Why did, why did they take damage when they hunt a T-Rex? But when, when the para does the same thing, they, they take no damage, and yet... <laughs> Quick as a wink, all the Deinonychus dispatched. Even with their pack hunting instincts, they are still no match for a T-Rex. Right, Deinonychus pack number three now. <laughs> Let's see if they have any any better luck than the other th than the first two packs. Yes, I do also realise the pack hunting did get nerfed, which is good because it was overpowered before. Like, you could literally have two raptors take out a Brachiosaur. It's like, are you serious? That's a bit overkill, isn't it? Oh, wow, six raptors can't he? Six Denonicus can cannot take down a T Rex, which I don't mind. That I think that's fine. Actually, now that I think about it, the only dinosaur miss that I would like to have included is Megalosaurus because they fought the Deinonychus. So we have Terry who fought the Deinonychus and got beat, and then obviously John Basenbarris beat the Deinonychus trio. But you know we can't have them fight all three of them at once because those three will fight each other. And then in Season 2, you have the Deinonychus take on the Megalosaurus, and then you have them take on Ace. I think twice, actually. So we've had them take on the Carno, we've had them take on Power, we've had them take on a T-Rex. And there's one, one more dinosaur I want to see them take on. Here it comes! And it's got 25% HP, so it's not going to survive. The combo attacks of the Deinonychus finishing the job. Oh, oh wait, this, wait, hang on. This got zero percent health and it's still standing. Oh, down it goes, and it I think it crushed that Deinonychus by there, but it took no damage because you know this is evolution two. Like, in real life, this Deinonychus would probably have been crushed by the huge weight of the T-Rex. Okay, that was a little bit unfair on the T-Rex, because it, it was on really low health, and it did have that injury. So I would still say a T-Rex would be able to beat six Deinonychus. Now then, now for a bonus level, I, as I should put it, because we got something else to showcase. And that is this bad boy. But it's not Acrocamphosaurus, it's something else. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Wrong skin, wrong skin, wrong skin. Oopsie daisy. Right, sorry about that. <laughs> wrong mod installed. That is what we're supposed to see. Yes, it is a Sorophagonax. And I decided to spice things up a bit and use the, Acro the Acrocamphosaurus model, which actually works really well. And I am very happy with how this thing has turned out. Oh, oh, is he hunting already? So, can the Deinonychus pack take down the Sorophagonax? Yeah, this looks really good. Actually, I I'll show a little feature at the end of this video, like a new little tweak that I like with this update. Yeah, I, 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 I know people are thinking, well, why not just use the Allosaurus model, which is basically a Sorophagonax, but Sorophagonax is basically a, it's basically an Allosaurus on steroids, so I thought, you know, it, sh it should look bigger than, much bigger than an Allosaurus, and Acrocamphosaurus is bigger than Allosaurus. Not by much, but it is bigger. 
And yet, again, it worked really well. The crest, the crest, the the, the, the spikes, you know. You all know how, how much I have a pet hate for these spikes because they're a pain in the ass because every dinosaur has them. <laughs> but yeah, okay. One thing I may tweak is the lower jaw. I may have to tweak that because that doesn't, that doesn't exactly look healthy, does it? No. But yeah, other than that, I think it's turned out pretty well. Oh, here we go. He's taking him on. He's taking him on. Can our Soro Faganax do it? Oh, look at him. One. Oh, that was good. Look at that. He did straight away. Wow, this Soro Faganax is not messing about. Yum. Wee. Oh, look at him go. Ripping the Soro Faganax apart. Oh, no, no, maybe not. Maybe not. Um, Okay, he's killed two of them. <laughs> Oh, look at it, he's not even phased! Spitting death fires at these Deinonychus. These Deinonychus are getting shredded! Oh, oh, he can't get that one off, apparently. Oh, he's killed another one. Is another one. Wow, he's killed four of them! Well, um... I think the safe answer is no. A Deinonychus pack cannot take on this Sorofagonac. Look, it didn't take damage. It took zero damage. That's it. Rub your chops. Rub the blood off your chops. Yeah, um, okay. I think it's safe to say that a Deinonychus pack, even at six strong, cannot take on a Sorofagonax. Oh, I think I see why now. Okay, yeah, this guy is pretty good. This one's, like, buffed up. So maybe that's why the Deinonychus pack died so easily. Oh, bless him. You tried, but Sorofagonax just proved too strong. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Yes, this is a new feature that they added with the Camp Cretaceous update, which I really like. And, I fi and I'm probably going to use this to showcase mods from that one. And I think the best thing is I can go through each pattern to pick which, which one I think is best. And I can show you each pattern individually at a much more convenient, like, place, if you, if you get what I mean. I can just cycle through them all like this. So, like, you can see all the different patterns for Displeosaurus, which I think is awesome. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Look at this, I got full spectrum of Displeosaurus. I think this is the one I, this is the one I picked. But again, you know, you lot might have your own opinions. You might like a different one. You might, you might prefer this one. Or you might prefer this one, the more purpley one. Which I, I didn't mind, I don't mind this one actually. A little bit too purpley for me. So yeah, that's a really cool feature. And I will definitely use this feature from now on. Uh, let's just go through the star of this episode, the Deinonychus. Yes, look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? And yeah, with Deinonychus, not much difference in the patterns, just slightly darker skins and such. Which one do I go for? Is this one, I think. Yeah, this is the one I go for, is Chaplain Valley, which seems to be the best one for a lot of these mods. So yeah, this is the one I had before, but I preferred whichever one, this one, because it, the red is a bit more pronounced. And if you look at that one, the red is a little bit pale, isn't it? I know, well, this one is orange. <laughs> it's cool that we have all these different variations, though. Like, this one could have been one I used, but the uh, underbelly by you is a bit too bluish, if you get what I mean. But yeah, okay, we are going to end this time. This, is, this time it is the end of the session, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And stay tuned for more mod showcases in the future. And until then, this is Trainer Gamer signing out.